Hello ladies and gentlemen, Aura here today with an NU Pokemon Shot on Battle. You guys are wondering what is this play? I kind of battled already a couple of days ago. So this is a pre-recorded battle in a way, so let's get this battle started. I'm just gonna play and you know, do the usual. So this is a NU battle. He sounds like he's crazy. I'm gonna set up my cold face. I'm gonna straight for a taunt. I was predicting to go straight for a, for a Stuff rock, but he's he's wondering I might go for a waterfall, but I didn't. So I go search for Toxie after this. He's on his many time, many team. He goes for air slash whatever, and he's dying from slowly from a Toxie. But air slash does a decent damage, a thirty six damage. So I saw a miss break, and he's out his little licky. I'm gonna go straight for the stuff rock, and he might go straight for a knock. He goes straight for a knock, thirty five percent. That's a decent damage to my misprit. So I'm determined my misprit set out my cold fish and I thought he was straight for a heal bell. I don't know why he's gonna do that, but he's trying to get rid of the toxic. So he's on his own misprit. I'm gonna straight for a top to get uh, to get rid of his stuff rock hazards. So this misprit is the issue on his team. I don't want, I don't want him to set out his stuff rock, but I have shifted for a reason for defog. But for this ship three, it's max attack and speed, so with life orb. I'm gonna straight for the knockoff, get rid of his leftovers. Licky, licky, licky. I'm gonna get tired of you, your defensive power. So I set up my playmate, the ace, the pimp, the, the boxer out there. My crazy monkey. But he's actually on misprint. So I'm gonna straight for a U turn to protect him to send his misprint. He thinks I might go for straight comp combat, but that doesn't happen. I set up my bloody dew blade blades out there. He's an adamant nature. Do play. I go straight for his shadow sneak. That's a decent 27% damage as man at time. I will draw my do play. Send out my cold fish to take it out. And then he may go straight for a defog or rid of my hazards. I don't feel I don't matter about the hazards. So I think I'm gonna go straight here for a toxic, I believe. If I'm correct, I think I'm gonna go straight for a toxic right here to get rid of this misprint. I was hopefully it's not his um Zaflosion, but then I didn't Think he would, but who cares? So his, his misprit is gone. He sounds like Steelix. I'm gonna say the microfish for later on. I saw my own misprit. He goes straight for earthquake. I'm immune. I had a feeling it was for it. So earthquake. I go straight for a cycle. A decent 21 damage. I go straight for iron head. a 42% damage. That's overpower. I go straight for a stuff rock. I don't need my misprit, but he goes for another iron head. The crit, the crit didn't really matter because I know the knockdown at some point. So I saw my ace and then hold like usual primary illustrates for a close combat. And I got his Steelix. Get rid of his Steelix permanently. He's done his own he's done his Metatine. It does the Fox wearing down his Metatine very good. I, I, I have reason for this team. I saw my do but he goes for air slash of a decent fourteen percent. I'm gonna go straight for or swords dancer right here from Kareos for a defog. But I'm gonna straight for Storage dance and put my attack. But he think I'm gonna go straight for Shadow Sneak, but I don't. I'm gonna go straight for Iron Head just in case he ever draws on his lick Licky. So Ghost is immune to Ghost doesn't hit no type. So so it's whatever. I go straight for Shadow Claw, Shadow Sneak. It is a it is a critical hit, eighty one percent. So my dude plays out of here. I feel like this type of might be a choice specs, and I'm correct. And hopefully, I saw my Crawfish. I don't know what I was thinking. I went for a talk. I should have went straight for a waterfall. And this Typhlosion did a flamethrower. Brought down me down to 70 HP. I'm like, okay, I'm going to leave my crawfish or die for water. Typhlosion's overpowered, so whatever. Typhlosion's out of there. I'm happy about that. I sent out my prime out, my pimp out in there. A choice bandit. I should have went for a close combat, but I went straight for ice punch just in case. I want to freeze hex just in case, but that didn't happen. He goes straight for a C bomb that's a decent 38%. I'm like, ah, oh, I gotta save my primate from that for that lick a lick. I'll go straight for Ice Punch just in case, but he predicted the ice punch. He knew my choice banded, so he took the ice punch like it was none. I sent him on Electroid, that's choice specs. I was self once self 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 destruct, but I thought it would knock him out, but did only 14% damage. He was trying to go for knock off knock off my choice specs, that didn't happen, so so I set up my prime right out there to go straight for a close combat, knock that bitch out of the game. Get the fuck out of here, Licky Licky. I'm just pimping this battle right here now. My prime right owns this battle right here. So it's on his, his credit lead. Again, I go for straight for close combat, and that is the battle, guys. So thank you for joining this video. 
or to see your um please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. I would appreciate it and I have another battle upload as soon as possible. Or right here. Peace out.